I get the loveliest emails from people. Um, one particular YA series that I've been doing for a few years that addresses a lot of sort of complicated um, moments in American history. It takes place in the 1920s in New York City. That book in particular, although I, I get I get mail from many books from many authors, but that one in particular, I get a lot of um, I get a lot of mail talking about. And this credit for this goes to the author, not me, but how how people can reflect on an an anxious time and how it's comforting to them to find that there have been other anxious times in American history when people felt unseen or unheard. Um, and that's, that's really, um, that's really wonderfully encouraging. And I've also heard, I've gotten some very, um, touching notes from folks who have folks who are differently abled, um, folks who are ill, uh, and either can't hold a book or can't focus, can't concentrate. And that, the tremendous amount of, of comfort that they receive from being able to sort of step outside themselves and hear a great story well told. And that for me is, you know, what other reason do we need to go on doing what we do and telling stories the way that we tell them other than being able to reach people whose desire to engage in hearing a story outstrips their physical ability to do it. I just think that's a really special thing.